This is Nathan Crawford. This is the case problems video. And we have our first program here, Carly's Event Price Java. I'm in VS Code. I finally got that to work. So we've got a clear terminal down here at the bottom. We're going to hit play at the very top. You see, Carly's makes a food, make it a party. Makes it a party. Please enter the number of guests. Uh, we're going to do fifty-six guests, and it tells you repeats the total number of guests. The price per guest is thirty-five dollars. The total price is nineteen hundred sixty dollars, and this is a large group. Is true. Now we're going to run this one more time and do forty-nine guests because anything above fifty or fifty and above, excuse me is a large group. So we're doing 49, we're gonna hit enter, and this is a large group is false. And you see it has a different uh, total price there. So we're gonna clear the terminal and we'll move on to Sammy's rental price. Now there was a, an interesting logic problem on here, like the uh, lesson says, We'll go ahead and press play. Uh, enter the number of minutes for rental. We're going to do 60 minutes at first. That gives you one hours, zero minutes rental time, total price $40. We're going to run this again. And we're going to do 156 minutes just for giggles. And that gives us a two hours, 36 minutes rental time, total price $116. And Accounting for the logic problem, 59 minutes. You must enter a number larger than 60. You can do this with any number whatsoever. It will continue into the while loop, which is right here. So nothing less than 60 will work. So we'll go ahead and do 120 on there. And two hours, zero minutes rental time, total price, $80. Thank you very much.